Queen will be here at the village live. Santa will be here to greet the kids. And all you gotta do is bring a new unwrapped toy and come on in and be on TV, talk to Santa, and make somebody's life different. Uh, I wanna add to that, we will also receive gifts here at the village from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. I would like to make an announcement that I will be appointing at least a five-member ad hoc committee to promote McChesney Park. Their set goal will be to explore the possibilities of establishing annual events and spatial events within McChesney Park. Their findings with their advice and recommendations will be presented to the president and the board members. Promote McChesney Park mission statement is simply through the establishment and management of spatial events located within the village of McChesney Park. Our mission is to promote economic activity by attracting visitors to McChesney Park, fund improvements to public parks within McChesney Park, and provide a venue for limited fundraising by community-based <coughs> groups. Some of the contacts that I've made since the last board meeting, I participated in the Parks Chamber Christmas Parade. I attended McChesney Park Annual Christmas Tree Lighting, and I wanna thank GPS Community Church for a fine job they did with uh, the treats and everything they gave us out there. It was a real blessing. I attended uh, the Queen Oaks Residential Meeting. I met with Mark Sorrentino, Harlem Township Tax Assessor. I attended Rockford Area Economic Development Council, Council Annual Dinner. I met with uh, Debbie Albert Albertson, the lady that just did the presentation here, and then invited her to come to this meeting tonight. Uh, my wife and I served Thanksgiving dinner at the Rescue Mission, and there were over 500 people served at that Thanksgiving din dinner. Uh, I met with some of the candidates from Winnebago for Winnebago County Sheriff. I met with uh, Bob Springer, Bob Redman, and I also met candidate Randy Olson. Next we have uh, Attorney Green. I have no report tonight, Trotter. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney Green. Next we have Village Engineer Chris Dopkins. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, update on some of the projects that are going on. Uh, Wesley, uh, the contractor, has finished paving, uh, restoration, and sidewalks with a couple minor exceptions on the restoration that they're going to button up. Uh, this week, they'll be reinstalling the mailboxes and reinstalling the permanent street signs and working on punch list items in order to close out the project. We should be wrapped up at the end of the week. Um, on Park 90, the contractor's been working on restoration. NICOR is going to be coming in to install the permanent gas mains uh, sometime here in the next week or so. And the contractor is also uh, gearing up for winter shutdown, which essentially entails moving the traffic control and uh, erosion control uh, in the proper places uh, over the winter months. Uh, on Velocity Drive over here at the uh, town center, uh, the contractor has got everything uh, prepped <coughs> and shaped and ready for pavement. Uh, pavement is supposed to be coming in, the binder course only, of course, on Wednesday of this week. Uh, that project will be wrapped up for the winter time. And then finally, on uh, Queen Oaks, uh, Rock River Water Reclamation District has advised that uh, they have awarded the contract to go uh, to build the first uh, sanitary sewer across Guy Williams Park beginning at Ritter Drive. Uh, and they are also proceeding with the special assessment for the Queen Oaks Drive area. Uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Dana Carroll and to Kathy Burfield for hosting the resident meeting here a couple weeks ago. It was very informative. We had a very good group. Uh, ask very good questions and pleased to see that that project's moving forward. That's all I have tonight. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Chris. Next we have Public Safety Coordinator Rocco Wagner. Thank you, Your Honor. From the period of November 15th through the 28th, Sheriff's Department um, responded to 586 calls for service, made 207 traffic arrests, which included seven DUI arrests, and 38 criminal arrests. And that's all I have, sir. Thank you, Rocco. Next we have Harlem High School student liaison, Abraham Herrera. Thank you, Your Honor. As of today, we have three weeks left until the end of the semester one. Um, 
as of right now, the winter sports are underway and the spring sports are getting ready. Um, there's also an update on the student council um, toy drive. We're going to be working on that this week starting uh, to Wednesday, I believe. Wednesday we will start and then we'll be uh, collecting donations and any money. And then Saturday we'll be going out and buying toys for that. Thank you, Alan. Thank you, Abraham. Uh, next, we have committee and trustee reports. Trustee Snodgrass. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I'd like to thank um, Tricky Enterprises for doing the float for us that we were able to ride on. It was very cold, and it was my granddaughter's first time to be in a parade, so now she wants to do that every time it's dark out and uh, <laughs> we go outside. So, but it was great fun, and she stayed warm. And then GPS helped her find a glove that was lost, so they were also very um, helpful that night. I'd also like to um, let everyone know that I attended the RAEDC um, meeting as well where they talked about Transform Rockford and I'm on a committee for Transform Rockford where we're going to be analyzing all of the reports and studies that have been done over the last 20 years and why they have the things that those reports showed haven't been done and what needs to be brought back to us to um, perhaps consider doing. There's a large number of us on the analyzation um, committee and I'm looking forward to getting into some of that and uh, actually analyzing some of those reports but my team for uh, the Rockford Leadership Program is the team that gets to really dig in and uh, analyze some of those things. So I'm looking forward to that and if you aren't aware of Transform Rockford, it really is going to be a project that I believe is going to help the whole entire region. Um, so at first I was like, well, it's where, you know, we really want McChesney Park to grow and, and um, I'm excited about the committee that the mayor is going to be appointing, but by transforming Rockford, we're going to be transforming our whole region. So I hope everyone really does um, do their part to help us with this 20, Five, be in the top 25 in 2025. So thank you. Thank you, Trustee Snodgrass. Is there any more reports? Trustee Beck. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. I have uh, several parts of my report this evening. Uh, number one, uh, the Administration and Finance Committee uh, re met, reviewed warrants, and approved one resolution, which will move to the December 16th board for consideration. <coughs> Number two, uh, I also like to say that I had enjoyed myself at the uh, Light Up the Parks Parade. Uh, I drove the uh, winning float. I was the driver of the truck. <laughs> so, uh, so we had some fun there. And we uh, then went on to the, the town center where the mayor pulled the switch for the Light Up the Tree. And it was good to see the uh, shiny faces on those young children as they got to talk to Santa. and, and uh, and also, I'd like to thank uh, GPS Church for their uh, kind offerings. <clears throat> Next, uh, I would uh, call on the administration uh, to convene a liquor ordinance review and put forward other recommendations. Several of the, com the board members have uh, had questions and uh, over the period of time, and I think it's now time for us to take a full review of that. And. Uh, <clears throat> I'll make myself available for anything that you need of me, sir. And last but not least, I would like to thank Rocco and his officers for their uh, continued and uh, efforts of, of uh, show of, uh, of force, I guess, if that'd be the best word to use, in the men's copper emerald drive area. Uh, there's been some problems over there, and uh, uh, I've sev received several calls from, uh, because I have a building in that area, uh, from not only my people but other people that know me, uh, you know, commending the sheriff's department for showing uh, showing a little uh, action in that area. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Trustee Beck. Uh, Trustee Wilson. I'm going to piggyback on Lori's comments on Nickel Tuesday. There is another one tomorrow. And um, even though last week's we were live in Loves Park, I do want to thank Trustee Kidd for stopping by with some non-perishable food items and all the McChesney Park residents that did. We ended up with eight barrels of food in one hour. That was incredible. And tomorrow we'll be at Applewood and Riverside doing the same thing again. Thank you, Trustee Wilson. Is there any more reports? I see none. 
The next item for consideration is the consent agenda. Are there any items that a trustee would like to be have removed from the consent agenda to be considered separately? I hear none. The consent agenda is accepted as presented. I will entertain a motion to approve all items under the consent agenda. So, so moved. I have a mo I have a motion and a second. Could I have staff report, please? Thank you, Your Honor. Item A is Ordinance 5313, which creates a new Chapter 33 in the code entitled Professional Services Fee. The chapter will require reimbursement through establishment of an escrow account of professional service expenses incurred by the village from development activity. This is the first reading. Item B, Resolution 101R13, is a resolution amending an intergovernmental agreement with the Rock River Water Reclamation District covering the Queen Oaks Drive sewer extension. It requires Rock River Water Reclamation District to construct, construct a temporary driving surface after construction and establishes a partnering with the district for the hooking up of wells to public water. Item C, Resolution 102R13 is a resolution that provides for a sanitary sewer easement that will allow the Rock River Water Reclamation District to construct a sanitary sewer from Ritter Drive across Guy Williams Park to Queen Oaks Drive. Item D, Resolution 103R13 is a resolution that authorizes engineering services from McMeehan Engineering for the preliminary design of the Alpine Road pedestrian path from Roosevelt Road north to the southern corner of the Lowe's property. Item E, Resolution 104R13, is a resolution authorizing the mayor to execute any and all documents and or applications required to be submitted to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, for hazard mitigation grant funds. That's it, thank you. Thank you, Greg. Um, is there any further discussion from the trustees? I see none. Will the clerk take roll call, please? Trustee Tannen. Aye. Kidd. Aye. Wilson. Aye. Yo. Aye. Beck. Aye. Snodgrass. Aye. Mayor Bolin. Aye. Seven ayes and no nays. All items under the consent agenda has been approved. Uh, next we have new business. Ordinance 52-13, building codes, tax amendment, Amendment first reading. I entertain a motion to approve. So made. Second. I have a motion and a second. Could I have staff report, please? Thank you, Your Honor. Um, this uh, set of uh, codes uh, brings the village um, into conformity with the uh, building codes that the uh, Winnebago County uh, Building Department now uses. Um, it's uh, an item of uh, consistency that we uh, have the same set that they're using so the uh, inspectors um, have that available to them uh, entertain any questions uh, thank you Tim is there any discussion from the trustees <laughs> trustee Beck I'm going to vote yes for this <clears throat> only because of the fact that we do need to ensure uh, that uh, our our uh, bases are covered legally, and we can't have, uh, speaking as a former building official, we can't have two separate sets of codes. So I'm going to vote for this for that reason, but uh, I'll reserve uh, uh, my opinion for a future uh, contact with the administration regarding codes. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Beck. Is there any more discussion? <clears throat> I see none. Uh, will the clerk take roll call, please? Trustee Kidd. Aye. Wilson. Aye. Yo. Aye. Beck. Aye. Snodgrass. Aye. Tammon. Aye. Mayor Bolin. Aye. Seven ayes, no nays. Ordinance 52-13 has been approved for first reading. Next we have public comment. If you have any comments, step to the podium and state your name and address. I see none. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So made. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any nays?